Ladies and gentlemen and smizmars, I'm embarrassed to tell you that for the past 12 years, I was unaware of the following phenomenon. The cross dissolve works differently across layers versus between two clips on the same layer. As you can see, the dissolves begin or end very abruptly. See that? When transitioning from a very black image to a very white image that is on a different layer, the very first frame of the dissolve has the white image already at about 39 IRE on the waveform. That's 39% brightness to massively oversimplify. Zero is black, 100 is white, and we're at 39 already? On the next frame, the second frame of this 10 frame cross dissolve, we're already more than halfway towards pure white. But this is a linear dissolve. It's supposed to be at 20% on the second frame. And indeed, that's exactly what happens if you dissolve directly from one graphic to the other on the same layer. And it's not just the cross dissolve. Anything that uses transparency above other layers, like the soft edge wipe or even just plain old keyframed opacity, also has this problem. So what's going on? Well, the answer is very technical, and I don't understand all the details myself, but it has to do with gamma. There's a great explanation on Eric Brousier's website, with a great analogy involving the weight and numbering of cannonballs. But basically, Adobe is doing the math for gamma incorrectly. Again. You may have seen my video complaining about a similar phenomenon in Photoshop. Now, if you go to Sequence Settings, General, Video Previews, and uncheck this little box for Composite in Linear Color, then the problem is fixed! Hooray! No more weird cross-dissolve transitions! We can move on with our lives, right? WRONG! I'm pretty sure that compositing in linear color is what you should be doing for other reasons. It fixes all sorts of other problems with gamma, which I assume are happening within a single layer. Stuff with lumetri color, I don't know. It's hard to find good information about this. I just know that linear color is supposed to be good. So why does it mishandle transparency across layers? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it has to do with pre-multiplied versus non-pre-multiplied transparency. Basically, these cross dissolves and lots of other stuff are designed to work in non-linear color. So turning on linear color means that now things get pushed too far in the other direction. It's as though you had a faulty scale where you had to double up on all your counterweights and now that the scale is fixed, it's telling you that everything weighs half as much. Because you didn't fix everything. Again, I don't understand all the details, and the cannonball analogy is much better. But I do not believe that this is an impossible physics problem, like exceeding the speed of light. It's just gamma. Humans created this, and humans can fix it. Even using only assets from Premiere Pro, this problem still occurs. Adobe must fix it on their end. But no, Adobe is too busy rounding the corners of the clips on the timeline to make them more friendly, something that nobody asked for. Adobe, I have a big, long list of more important things you could be doing to actually improve the software. I know you've seen it. I guess I'll just add this one to the list and hope you don't ignore it. Oh, one more thing. The black of an empty timeline is not the same as the black of a pure black mat. I actually had to have a black mat underneath everything in my first example, or the area outside the graphic would actually behave correctly. And also, you have to remove the black mat from underneath everything if you dissolve directly from one layer to another if one of them has transparency or otherwise doesn't cover the whole frame. What a pain in the ass. This is clearly broken. You just watched one chapter from a longer transitions tutorial, which you can also watch right now for free from the link below. Or just click this little thingy on screen right now. The tutorial covers nearly every useful transition and every transitions vendor. I'll see you there.